After creating my table, I now have to enter my information or my records in the table that I've created. So to open your table that's now on the left hand side, you can either right click and open or you can just double click to open your table. I've done a few of the entries already. So let's enter the last two or three entries there. T586 tab. Type in my date. When I type in my amount or the price, I never use a full stop. I can use the comma. It's 2240,45 when I press tab. Remember, you've already set the price of stock column to be currency with two decimals. My stock available for this specific one says no. So if it's no, I do not tick the block in stock available. Remember when you do the amount two two four zero comma four five. Though my tomatoes and it's also not available and my last entry will be to one beef steak tomato treasure seeds and the date and then my amount comma five six and this one here it says the stock is available, so I will click my block to say stock available. Now the next instruction says make sure that all fields are on one page and that all data is visible. I'm just going to minimize this so that I can make this bigger so that you can see. People, this is exactly like an Excel. All data must be available. So I have to make my columns bigger, exactly the same as an Excel, by dragging the columns so that all the information is visible in each field. Date received price of stock, stock available. You can see it's not big enough, so make it a bit bigger so that the column headings also fit. Code of item must also be a bit bigger. All information must fit in your columns. You have to make it bigger. If there's any words cut off, you are going to lose marks unnecessarily. So now my, my table is done. I can click on the cross to close it. Yes, I want to save it. When I open it again, it will be there. I can go to File. I can go to Print. Print Preview. I always suggest Print Preview so that you can look at your Put in preview before you print it. As you can see, it's not fitting. Not all the columns are there. The yes or no field is not there. So when I print my table, I always print it in landscape. I always change my page orientation to landscape so that all my columns are visible. On the top here, landscape. I make sure that all my information is visible. I can see everything. Nothing is cut off. No spelling errors. Remember, you're going to lose marks for spelling. No spelling, spelling errors. Once I've checked everything, if I find that there's a mistake, I can close my print preview. I can go and fix it. Then I can go back to file, print, print preview to make sure that it's right now. Then I can go to print and I can print it normally. Once I've printed it, I can close my print preview. I can close my table. On the left hand side, there's your tomato stock table with all the information that you entered in there.